Is it kind of cool for you, Armando, to see that the fans have really just fallen in love with you as a couple and you as an individual? Yeah, I mean, for one, it was always, it's always been a surprise because going into filming your own life, you know, you don't know what to expect and you always think the worst. Um, so I, I was scared for it, but just hearing how many people support us and love us and, you know, just on the street when people say hi, it always feels good. No, I love that. That's Armando. But we all love Armando. Who doesn't? We said a lot of daddies reach out to him, trust me. Uh, <laughs> I know, Armando, you got to fight off these daddies. Well, I'm sure, Kenny, you probably have a lot of boys in your DMs too, so it goes both ways. <laughs> I gotta check, I gotta check. <laughs> Once Ricky Cornish, not Timmy. <laughs> not me. And it's a lot for me to try to think about being a dad again, but I know we can do it. Please. I mean, dad and grandfather. I think that's what's so wild, Kenny. It's crazy to think like, you're just giving birth to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> that's true. And it's very painful sometimes. <laughs> I mean, you can only take so much. I, mean, I know. <laughs> to get these hips back in order, it's not easy. <laughs> I mean, really, Armando, what are you doing to Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I will tell you what I do to him. <laughs> oh, period. Armando, it's wild to think like, when I first interviewed you, you know, we were just talking about you coming out for the first time. Now here we are, you know, a few years later, you obviously have progressed in so many ways, but we're still seeing you learn about yourself so much while on the show. You're going to a gay club for the first time. You're getting to do all these fun things. What are those experiences like for you right now? Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's, it's really, it's fun, it's, it's exciting and it's good to do it with Kenny. Um, at the end of the day, I'm not just the person I am. I'm not like a huge party goer or anything. So it was fun, to, for example, to go to the strip club. Um, but you know, it's always neat to be doing it with Kenny and, and being able to experience these different things. You need to hang out with Ricky because you see Ricky's stories, he's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing is, I, well, the, the thing is, you know, we, I think that's sort of why we compliment each other because I am more of an old soul. So like I was saying, I'm not a huge party goer or anything. So I can't see myself partying all that much, but yeah, we could hang out maybe one week. <laughs> Just for a night. Yes. I promise you, I will not push you too far. Like, Kenny's done a good job. Kenny knows how to like push you a little bit, but not too much. I'm a little wild child. Okay, so I might be doing the most, but you can keep along <laughs> for the ride whenever you want. <laughs> he, says, he says we can get in some good trouble. Okay. Yes. No, no husbands, without husbands or boyfriends or anything. Wait. <laughs> Exactly, because even if some craziness happens, it always makes a good memory. It always makes a good story. So you have to look at it. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And he's in Vegas, so you know how it is. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you saw the stripper scene um, on the show that we were at, after the cameras left and everything like that, some production stayed and we were um, there. We still hung out. Their strippers went completely naked. <laughs> they obviously were on Viagra. So we got an eyeball. So we got an eyeball. I think he got poked in the eye. I don't know. <laughs> it's really important we can crack on each other. Don't take things so serious, you know? So a big thing is be able to laugh at yourself and just have a sense of humor about things. Could not agree with you more. Now, Armando, I know like with the visas and the passports, it's all a bunch of crazy legal nonsense, but I am hoping one of these days you can come up to the States because I would love to like for the three of us like just do happy hour or something one of these days. It would be so much yeah. fun. Soon enough, we're, we're actually, we started the process and we're just, it's a waiting game with immigration, so we're just waiting, so hopefully soon. Oh yeah, <laughs> then we're at the clubs with the go-go dancers and strippers, <laughs> and we're just having a great time. <laughs> there you go.